Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I'm going to show you what causes a circuit breaker in your electrical panel to trip and how to troubleshoot it. Okay, so what is a circuit breaker? Well, in simple terms, it's a device in your electrical panel that's designed to trip or break the circuit when it's overloaded. In this video, I'm just going to be covering single pool breakers, like your standard single pool. Not a AFCI or a GFCI breaker, I'll cover those in a future video. So what actually causes it to trip? Well, I think the number one most common reason is obviously overloading the circuit. By plugging too many things in, they draw too many amps of power and the breaker's designed to trip. Now, if your breaker's rated at 20 amps, it's only designed to run at 80% of its rating continuously. So a 20 amp breaker is only capable of running 16 amps for a long period of time. It can handle up to 20 amps for a very short period of time, but the breaker will build up too much heat inside and then the bimetal will trip it off. The number two most common reason is let's say you're hanging a picture on the wall and you run a screw through your drywall and you hit an electrical wire that was behind it. So you'd have a short in the wiring and that will cause your breaker to trip. Or let's say you're using an extension cord that has some sort of damage. Like maybe you were outside and you were trimming your hedges and your hedge trimmer got your extension cord. And that's what happened to me. And that tripped the breaker. You could also have a loose wire inside one of your receptacle boxes it could have came off the, the receptacle and hit the side of the box or hit the ground wire and that'll also short out your wiring and trip the breaker. Okay, so the third most common reason is just a weak breaker. Over time, maybe it's not able to carry the current that it used to. So if you have a 20 amp breaker, it's designed to run 16 amps continuous and it trips at maybe 5 amps or 10 amps. And if you have a breaker that's doing that, then you definitely want to have it replaced. Okay guys, so there's some real basic information on what causes a breaker to trip and some simple steps on how to troubleshoot it. So if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. And thanks for watching.